Welcome to Rehash, of the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello everybody, my name's Lucas, and this is Rehash. Thank you so much to Lucas the Legend, who hey. provided our intro. If you'd like to do the same, there's a link in the description Go where check you them out. can provide an intro so that you can introduce us and get a meaningful spotlight. Yeah. All right, so uh, I wanted to talk about uh, two things today. Okay. Um, a group of partners wants to put together an SNP server. It's an unofficial thing. And uh, they want to talk about that, so we're going to give them a little bit of screen time and then uh, give them a clicky linky thing. Yeah, down below in the and clicky you description. A, you had a thingy? I wanted to talk to you guys about an awesome party button. A party button that when you press it, 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 it's just a party. Is it like the easy button? Yeah, almost exactly like that, but it actually has a meaningful thing when you touch it. Like oh. it, doesn't, it doesn't just say easy or it doesn't just do anything. Okay. When, you, when you press it, a party happens. Okay. It's crazy. And then my other thing was I wanted to talk about... Oh, and this is the big one we should have led with. Spider-Man is officially... Officially! Yeah, no, no, no. You know, listen, I, I know this. I know this is off topic. When I was a kid, right? When I was we like... We talking about Spider-Man. When I was like seven or eight years old, I, I went to the theater and watched Spider-Man. And I came home and I wanted to be like Spider-Man, so I took super glue and I tried to climb the wall. I just wanted to let you know that. It's completely random and it just popped in my head. But that's how addicted I was to Spider-Man when you I was a child. probably ate some of that glue too, didn't you? Probably a little bit. Okay. Probably. Okay, go ahead though. Spider-Man is officially confirmed for Captain America! Hey! Civil War! It's been hinted at many times, but we'll, tell you, we'll get into the details and all that stuff here in just a minute. Let's talk about the Minecraft SNP server. Uh, a couple of guys want to start this, so let's hear from them. What is going on, Rehash? We thought about it. We had a lot of pros for the uh, Freedom SNP. Basically, all the Freedom members could come in and collaborate at once, and the SNP that we have in mind is very unique. It isn't like a normal SNP. We're going to be having plugins like MCMMO, and we're going to have essentials and everything. It's gonna be very cool. We also have like a, a weekly uh, supply drop and a weekly uh, purge. So yeah, we actually put a lot of effort into this. And if you guys want to know more about it, you guys can check out the video on our channel. They'll be in the link down below. We would love to hear some feedback if you're interested in this Freedom SMP, guys. Thank you to Rehash for letting us be here. Now back to Rehash. Thank you so much to these Freedom partners who have brought this to light and who want to do this awesome community project. If you want to support them, link in the description down below. It's where you can find out more information. Uh, and then you want to talk about a party thing with the thing in the... the yeah, what's about the thing. Is That's it great. like a party in a box? What is this thing? It's close. So there was a video uploaded to YouTube about seven years ago. Seven years ago? Yeah, I was... Wait a minute, wait a minute. From, what, from what I understand, just by reading the comments of the, the YouTube videos, or the comments below our videos, yeah. people say that if your video is not popular after a while, you might as well just give up. Like, no. No, so, so this is a prime example of hashtag never give up. Right, hashtag never give up. It's just a matter of finding the right person to, to surface the video and then promote it. I mean, the video is seven years old. I, I, how old was I seven years ago? I'm 18 now. I was, what, 11? Or how, no, I have no idea. Math? I, I don't know. Eight, you... I have no idea. 9, 18, I was Somewhere 10. between the cradle and beard. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the guy uploaded the video. It's called the party button. If you guys can click the video or it's, it's on the screen, essentially what happens is when he presses the button, music starts playing. Not only does music start playing, but like smoke detectors go off. There's like, you know, huge signs with text saying, you've activated the party button. It's super cool. Yeah, I kind of I kind of want like a, a button that does stuff. I think we need one in the office. The I, don't, office. I don't know what I want my button to do, but I want a button. Yeah. Like world destruction or, or peace, or no, just like world cheese. Just give cheese to everybody with the right. Right, just starts raining cheese. It's raining cheese. I'm oh, sorry. Is that really a song? No. Okay. So on to real news. Spider-Man has been officially confirmed to be in uh, Captain America: Civil War. Now this is something that's been hinted at. It's been something that they, you know, kind of said yes, no, maybe. But as soon as Tom Holland was um, was given the like, you know, he oh, wow. was basically like knighted as Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, it was also announced that he would be the Spider-Man in Captain America: Civil War, which yeah. means that we get to see him in the suit, hopefully, possibly, before the new Spider-Man movie comes out in 2017. That is beautiful. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comment section down below what you think of uh, the Spider-Man movies that have come out over the past 10 years or so. Who's your favorite Spider-Man? And um, most what, of all... Like, what was your favorite scene? That's pretty cool. Like, what was your favorite scene? I, I, I kind of... My favorite part is the fact that I've seen all of them. Really? I've seen everyone like hundreds of times. I've real watched them. 
You're totally gonna bypass the fact that, that was a horrible pun. Really? Well, I mean, I played the video games, I had the shirts, I had like the pajamas with Spider-Man, I went all out. Did you have tidy whities Yes, I, had, I, I literally went all out with Spider-Man when I was a little kid. You really did eat that glue, didn't you? Probably a little bit. Yeah. Normally, right about now, we would start talking about comments that you've left on this, on this show or on Freedom Central in general. However, I am at a crossroads. I want to start doing this show on a daily basis, which means that we are looking for content to do on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, my question to you, the Freedom Family, and I'm going to use this time rather than doing comments to ask you whether you would like Saturdays to just be like comment, answering questions, feedback, that kind of thing. Um, because I would like to dedicate at least one right. day. So like, so every every Friday they just comment any questions they have. They or just, just throughout the week idea. and then we... Oh, we compile a little list. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. But I, I think for the most part, like if... I don't want every single video just being full of questions. I think if we do it like every Friday maybe? But it wouldn't just be full of questions. There would be answers there too. I get you. I but like, I mean, we could just pick like our favorite ones, the funniest ones, the most awesome, epic, blah, 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 um, he does all kinds of gaming content. He also does uh, some like, um, like vloggity type stuff. Yeah, no. Recently, I I've watched a few of his videos over the last few days. He recently picked up a new microphone. He re or not a new microphone, but a camera. So I mean, the guy is really investing into his YouTube channel. This isn't just some random YouTube content creator making videos. He's really investing a lot of his income into it to improve the you know quality. I mean, and one thing that I, I uh, actually stuck to me, and it probably stuck to you too. Uh, he recently um, did a review for 8-Bit Boy, and yeah. I assume that that and is out of our dashboard uh, where um, creators can get games. Um, there are some slight changes coming up to that, uh, which we can talk about really briefly. Yeah. Um, the slight changes to that uh, will include um, some safeguards and checks to make sure that we're giving games out to the most deserving people, <laughs> right. and that um, people are doing the reviews in a timely manner. Um, some of those security checks were supposed to be in place from the beginning, but uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh, sometimes it doesn't quite go to play. But for the most part, I mean, the guy uploads consistent content, he participates in, in some of the projects that we do, like the review sponsorships. If I'm not mistaken, he's in our Steam group, he's active via the comments. I mean, he's, he's a prime partner as to you know, who we should you know, promote or, or uh, shout out or whatever. Yeah. Um, go spam him, hashtag rehash in the comment section down below. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Bye, Freedom Family.